Hello there, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I thought I'd give you the Richard uh, Blade series that I collected. Uh, this is a uh, series that I discovered pretty much all together. Um, I don't have the complete run, I have about half of the paperbacks, uh, but the ones I do have are interesting. So I have number one, this is the Bronze Axe. And this is number three, uh, The Jewel of Tharn. Now, the books were uh, produced mainly by Pinnacle, but they were they came out originally as a McFadden book. And um, they were written, the first eight uh, books were written by Manning Lee Stokes, an adventure series writer. Uh, who wrote many of the uh, uh, Nick Carter stories. And uh, the last, uh, from 9 to number 37, the last uh, books in the series were almost all written by uh, Roland J. Green, who uh, was also famous for writing the... Um, the Wandor series and contributing uh, to the Conan series published by uh, Tor Books. So we can look through the, um, the Richard Blade. This is a fine copy of uh, the first novel. It's The Bronze Axe. And number one, Heroic Fantasy series. Copyright 1969, uh, by, as by Jeffrey Lord. It's a house name. So we read uh, at the back. This is a new edition of the first volume in the Richard Blade series. The continuing saga of a modern man's exploits into the hitherto uncharted realm of worlds beyond our knowledge. So the premise of the series was, there was this agent, his name was Richard Blade, and he worked for MI6A, a secret branch of MI6, that dealt with uh, uh, problems outside of the realm, outside of the dimension that he was living in. Richard Blade is a uh, British agent, and he's sent by his superiors to these other dimensions, transported it to these other dimensions, to deal with uh, whatever issues um, threaten uh, the Earth. So that's the premise of the series. And at the end of the series, if he's successful, he would return and bring some item to deal with whatever threat to the, dim the dimension, the earth, uh, was the problem. So he was basically, uh, the fantasy element was he'd be off and sent to these other dimensions to deal with their, their, prob their problems that would affect the dimension that he was living in. So that's the pinnacle edition. This is the first edition. This is number three in the series. This is the Jewel of Tharn. And we just flip there. You see, this is a McFadden original, never before published in book form. So, 1969. Copyright 1969. So, that's that one. Uh, there's number six. Monster of the Maze. This is number seven, The Pearl of Patmos. And this is number 10, The Ice Dragon. Some of these covers are not that great. Others are all, all right, other, but some are, uh, leave some things to be desired. Like this cover is not that great. This one's the Golden Steed. This one's a nice cover. 
That's number 13. Number 15 is the Towers of Melnin. Number 17 is the Mountains of Brega. Number 18 is the Warlords of Gakin. And number 21 is the champions, the champion of the gods. The cover art is signed. It's by Ken W. Kelly. Very good artist, by the way. Draws or paints in a, almost a Jeff Jones a style. And there's another Jeff Jones, the Fow uh, forests of Glio. Sorry. Uh, Ken W. Kelly, The Forests of Glior. And this is a rough copy, very rough copy. This is Empire of Blood. This is the Dragons of Englor. And this is a Ken W. Kelly cover, The City of the Living Dead. And the last, as I said, from uh, number 9 to number 37, uh, the uh, writer was uh, Roland J. Green. The uh, publisher, Pinnacle Paperbacks, they were famous for doing the... Uh, Destroyer series by Richard Sapper and Warren Murphy, the uh, Executioner series by Don Pendleton, the um, Death Merchant series by Joseph Rosenberger, and the uh, Edge series by uh, George Gilman. The uh, stories were really uh, short on characterization. Uh, th there was no waste of time in terms of looking into you know, psychological motives for uh, the adventures that uh, Richard Blade found himself in. It was really a, a books that were focused on plot and adventure. Just quick, fast, easy reads. So that's the Richard uh, Blade series. So um, this is uh, my uh, short presentation on this. So if you uh, liked and if you can add more to the Richard Blade series, just uh, remember to uh, give me a thumbs up, a like. Um, thanks everyone for subscribing. And uh, feel free to comment and uh, add any anything to... Uh, what's uh, what I have already uh, presented. I have already shown in previous episodes uh, cover art by uh, Ken W. Kelly when I did the uh, the Sharon Green uh, Jalav Amazon Warrior series. And uh, you can always check out my other videos uh, to see uh, if there's anything uh, of interest. Um, and again, feel free to comment on any anything that you see on on my on my channel. All right, so thanks everyone again for those who've subscribed. Feel free to comment, and um, remember to give me the like. And uh, thanks everyone again. Okay, bye.